This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Pradeepa Narayaswamy. I forgot the last cinema syllable. Let me go one more time. We should do a bloopers on names. <laughs> <laughs> good night, good night, Pradeepa Narayana Swami. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? Hi. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here, uh, Angel. Well, tell us, what part of the world are you in right now? I, l- I am talking to you from Dallas, Texas. Sweet. In- in the states all right all right all right well it's a great pleasure to connect with you do tell us what which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history ah uh, yeah so i saw a post yesterday in linkedin that uh, our mutual connection jennifer she uh you know recommended my name along with a bunch of other i'm assuming amazing uh guests that she had on her show um recommended um to your show so that's how i saw that and i briefly checked out what you do and i thought like hmm, you know what i wanted to talk to you <laughs> because that. that's very interesting i appreciate that i appreciate that that's wonderful yeah yeah she definitely so she nominated you yeah it's like she was on the show and then she said you know what i'll nominate you which is super cool i appreciate that a ton and i'm excited to find out more about what you do so what of your talents did you operate in for her to connect with you yeah, so I um, when I connected with her, we talked about me and my journey and why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm actually a fertility coach. Um, I work with people going through infertility challenges and help their journey suck less. Hmm. Yeah, definitely so, can be painful. So you came up with the suck less part, didn't yes. you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. right. (laughs) Which speaks a ton about who you are and that you're showing up as your real self. Uh, Who did you learn that from to be able to have fun in the midst of life? Right. Yeah. I mean, like I, I was thinking about it long and hard and I always explained my struggles. Like if I have to do it in one word, it sucked for me. So that kind of motivated me to come up with, you know what, I the suckiness is not going to completely go away because, you know, if you're going through treatments and, you know, like the ups and downs of the treatments, it's going to suck to some degree. But working with me as a professional coach can help you. I can help your journey suck less. That's where it came, actually. Yeah, I love it. It's I think it's the most accurate description you can put on that. It definitely sucks. And yeah. I help it suck less. Well, that's wonderful. Well, do tell me, uh, where's the best place for someone that's listening uh, that resonates with what you do to connect with you? So it's going to be my website, and all my information is in my website. Um, it's www.pradeepa, my first name, fertilitycoach.com. Pradeepa, fertilitycoach.com. Hmm. I speak to many people, and I've found that conversations where they turn up as who they are where their business is built directly on that, uh, specifically who they are, carry an energy that's pretty intriguing because it's it sticks uh, what you do when it aligns with who you are. Absolutely, absolutely. This is, uh, I know for a fact that now, I mean, like I, I want to be very specific. Now I know for a fact that I went through my fertility struggles and my uh, journey so that now I can be this coach for other people so that I can help their journey, again, suck less. And that's, I, I, I can even say that out loud, like, that's why I know for a fact that I'm born. This is why I'm born in this world, to help other people's infertility journey suck less. Mm. And that's my mission, that's my passion, and that's where my life is going. Mm. There we go. Love it. Well, Pradeepa, tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. One of the other things that I've done consistently is find and uh, find meaningful 
deep relationships. I am all about establishing relationships with people. And uh, to me, relationship is not just, you know, linking uh, with people over LinkedIn or Facebook or any other social media. For me, it's more about truly knowing them as a person, as an individual, what they stand for, what are they like, what do they like, what they don't like, and having an opportunity to share about me as a person, not just, you know, like, uh, what are the certifications or education or what am I passionate about, but more about me as a person. To me, establishing that real meaningful connection deepens that relationship and it truly actually um, excites me. It truly excites me. I'm a very much of a people person, and um, I work with people all day, even in my in my regular job as a coach, as a leadership coach. And what really excites me is the opportunity to know a variety of people coming from all different cultures, all different countries, um, you know, all different belief systems, and um, you know, just I'm fascinated by the by the diversity and uh, the world that we live in, and all the amazingness that these people bring with them. Mm. I agree with you. I am that same person as well. I love humanity. I love great conversations. Definitely resonates with me tremendously. Why would you suggest other people do that? At least just open up just a bit to the variations in culture and expand their conversations. Yeah, that's something that I encourage people to give it a try because you never know what kind of um, what kind of information nor interesting thing that you are going to find out from other people. And this is also an opportunity. Sometimes it will lead into finding more commonalities. Like, oh my God, you believe in that. I am also a big believer of that. Oh, you like that. I like that. Oh, you don't like that. You know what? I don't like that either, right? So you are kind of finding some um you know cohesion and some ways to connect with this person and finding those common things that you both are sharing or some of the differences that you both are sharing and uh, you know just because we share a difference doesn't mean that you can't have the deeper connection with that people so to me having that understanding so next time when you see that person it's not just the name of the person or the role that they are playing in your organization or, you know, how you kind of refer them to. You know, they are a flesh and blood with the dreams and hopes and pains and struggles, what they have, what they what they are today and how they have become that person and where are they going from here, right? You see them as that whole person. And when you look at everybody that way, the world would be a lot more friendlier place for a lot of people. And you know what? That's a small step that all of us can try and do to, to make this world a much inclusive and better place for all of us to live, laugh, cry, and thrive together. Mm-hmm. Love it. Amazing audience again. You're hearing it live from Padipa. I will go at her last name again because I love a challenge. Narayana Swami. There you go. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I got it. Padipa, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Mm-hmm. Padipa, what is your earliest childhood memory? So the earliest childhood memory is um, I'm originally from India, more more so specific from South of India. And South of India is very popular for temples, beautiful, old, architecturally marvelous uh, masterpieces. There are beautiful temples out there. And the city that I am from, the name of the city is called Madurai, is, is even called Temple City. It has this world famous, very old and amazing, beautiful temple called Minakshi Temple. And I used to go to these temples with my dad. My dad, even though he's he's not a historian per se, but he is he is a highly educated, he reads a lot. And I love hearing 
he he's very much into history so he i love hearing about the temple and you know why it was constructed such such a way the the architectural marvels of the temple i loved visiting temples with him because it's not just about a place of worship but for me it was also a place of like wow uh, look at that how they made it like it's it it was more than just a place of worship for me and i my dad is my guide my mentor um you know all, i mean my inspiration and uh, you know he passed away a few years ago but these memories um of him going to temples with him i'm i'm that i'm cherishing those forever because because of him i got really interested in history because of him i really got interested into not only just going to a place for what it's meant to be but i'm also you know my my perspectives and uh, you know my ideas and uh, what i'm looking for he expanded my thoughts he expanded my worldly view to you know like look at all these other things right that we may not sometimes pay attention to um so that's why you know like um you know that i'm i'm just parallelite paralleling that to what i just shared with you a while ago about connecting with people because you know you you see many people on a regular basis you know you say hi to them bye to them whatever but knowing them from a different perspective um and having that wider view of that person really helps you connect and get a, an amazing perspective from a whole a le- whole another level and that's something you know i actually learned from my father who just took me to temples not for just praying purposes but for expanding my worldly views and appreciating the beauty that we typically won't pay attention to on a regular basis i love it love it yeah people are like temples yeah and each person is a a, a unique temple isn't it yeah. very similar and uh, getting to know them just like you love to do is yeah. an opportunity to learn so much more about yourself into and how old were you in that memory I'm I'm probably thinking like 4 or 5 years old. All right, all right, all right, my friend. I love it, love it, love <laughs> it. It definitely connects. Uh, if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Mm. <laughs> so I I so there were there is no one song that is my favorite of course you know i grew up with a lot of um uh, indian movies right. and a lot of the the my mother tongue is tamil that's the mother tongue that we speak so there is one particular singer that i i still even hear his his songs quite a bit his name is i mean i'm going to pronounce it right. sp balasubramania we for short and for short form we call him spb those are his initials uh, he's a male singer um he actually has sung so many songs in his lifetime he's still alive in his lifetime that his name is entered in actually the guinness world book of records wow. so and he just he has this voice i kind of i mean i use this word very specifically and intentionally it's very divine like it's it's so sweet that you kind of like really it it puts you in in that space of like oh my god i just wanted to relax that mm-hmm. kind of a deal right he has such a beautiful beautiful voice and i i i'm still a big fan of his voice but even in 12 year when i was 12 years old those her his songs is what i'm used to hearing actually s p b well the, hey send me one of the songs please the song links are from youtube let me put that in in the in the post that i'll share tonight yeah please oh. i'd love to do that Absolutely. I will definitely do that. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form, so it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here, Pradeep. Are you ready? Yes. Pradeep, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Uh, yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Yes. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than 3 hours a day? No. How about 3 hours a week? Uh well, yes. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than 8 or less than 8 hours a day? Uh less than 8 hours a day. Pretty brave. You had to share with us your own unique real statement. A statement that represents who you are. Pretty brave. Mm-hmm. 
Narayana Swami. What would you say that is? Hmm. There is more to a person than what you are just seeing in front of you. Try to look for the deep and don't be afraid because you will never know what treasure you're going to find. And believe me, it's totally worth it. Mm, love it. Pretty again, great pleasure, my friend. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Thank you so much for having me on tonight. Um, you know, I wish you all the very best in your life and just go after your dreams, get to connect with people and try to get to know people a little bit more than what you are today. I appreciate that. Pradeepa Narayana Swami, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much, Angel. You're welcome. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.